Yeah, I can tell you certainly about my involvement in some of the uh, various uh, plant activities we've got on board. Um, now, at any one time, there are literally hundreds of experiments going on. Um, and so we are essentially the, the eyes and ears and hands of the researchers on the ground as we hop from one one experiment to the next, uh, as well as juggling uh, that maintaining of the space station job. Um, but yes, uh, we are currently right now uh, growing uh, dwarf tomatoes. We just started that, I want to say, two weeks ago, and they are already taken off. Uh, what's really interesting there is we're using a variety of different lighting and soil conditions so that we can optimize that uh, for future uh, missions. I'll tell you, we get really excited when we get fresh fruit and vegetables that come up on a cargo vehicle. And so to be able to do that in situ is going to be a huge, huge, not only moral boost, but uh, also a nutritional boost uh, for future crews. Um, we've got another plant uh, experiment. It's called Plant Habitat. Um, that one uh, is about to start running. I did a lot of the work on just getting it set up. There's a lot of hardware stuff going on, and we had a, uh, some troubleshooting and some workarounds we had to do, which was really fun uh, to you know work one-on-one -on -one, uh, with the ground team and and the principal investigator there, and to make sure that we could make it work. And it's uh, it's all humming along, and we're ready to get started there. And that that experiment is is going to be studying uh, epigenetics and and how or if uh, some of these changes make it from one generation of plant to the next. Again, uh, to just maximize our, our ability to do this uh, in deep space when we leave low Earth orbit uh, the next time. And also, you know, these kinds of technologies we find by accident sometimes uh, have direct applications on the ground. You know, the first time I took these out um, and essentially started the, the process, uh, the, they come up in pillows of uh, different kinds of soil. And I think it's containing the, that soil. You know, it doesn't take much to have just a little bit uh, of a hole there and, and then the, the soil starts coming out. And so I had to be uh, a little bit proactive and on making sure that stuff didn't, just didn't get all over the cabin. Um, as you can imagine, uh, it can get to be a mess in a hurry. Um, now our filters tend to pick all that stuff up, uh, but we we, we try not to uh, to get any extra in there if we don't need to. You know, it's really early for me to say, uh, but they seem to be sprouting up uh, just opposite of their soil, which is, I guess, what we expect. But maybe there's not going to be a tendency to go uh, what we're used to, you know, opposite of the gravity vector. So I'm interested to see how these uh, how these vines start to grow. But again, we're we're really early into the program, but uh, to see some green leaves uh, where there didn't used to be any, uh, that's pretty exciting.